Welcome to our newest video in our chart tutorial series. Let us today dive into the ability of syncing drawings across your different chart layouts, meaning you can draw on one chart and see that same drawing appear on any of these layouts. Let us quickly go to this two chart layout. You can see one chart on the left, the other on the right. Let's click. And what you may first notice is that there is a little link here that's highlighted. Well, that is the new capability that allows you to sync drawings across these layouts. Now, we are looking at a chart of Apple here. It's a daily chart, and we are somewhat zoomed in. To keep things simple, we also have a daily chart here of Apple. Well, let's actually go to a week. And let's click auto so that it gets a little more scaled and fitted to the current screen. So here's our weekly chart and here's our daily chart. We have the drawing sync selected and we can now click our brush. So our brush is selected and we can, for example, draw a sort of um, a line here just because maybe we find this line interesting. So we're just going to hand draw it and we're drawing it across the daily. So look how this line looks on the daily. Well, that's because each candle represents one day of trading but it's synced to this longer term view weekly chart and look how small that is. You can barely see it. That's because we're zooming out all the way back to 2021. This is a weekly chart. There's even more data here. We're totally zoomed out and this is how it looks zoomed in. Of course, we can go to our weekly and zoom in to see that, that line that we drew here. And in this example, it can simply be used just to remind you of where you truly are in the chart or in the grand scheme of things, in the symbol's history. And you may think this is the most important you know, line of support out there, but when you zoom out, look at the drawing there. So it can be used as a tool to gain perspective across multiple different time frames. We're going to delete it. Well, it also gets deleted on this chart here. Why don't we zoom out now on our daily? And as an example, now we're going to click our trend line tool and we're going to select here from the bottom and we're going to drag it up because this trend looks rather steep and interesting. Let's double click and let's change the line. Let's make this line orange. Let's make it thicker. And now you can see the trend line that we drew here on the chart on the left. It does show multiple points of contact, as you can see. So we're also going to highlight those. And it is such an interesting trend the more you look at it. And it's almost accelerating because look at the space that's being created between this trend line and where price is now. But then, of course, everything we just drew is synced perfectly to this weekly chart. Now, always keep in mind that this is a different time frame. We're looking at a weekly chart that zoomed out. There's no way the drawings are going to sync so perfectly. It's actually just going to give us insight into how this same drawing on a daily chart appears on a weekly chart. This is key to gaining more perspective on what you're actually looking at over different time frames. Now, of course, there are way more uses than just doing this over different time frames because, you know, some people actually just love to do chart art, chart art and while they're watching the chart, they are just interested in enjoying themselves. They can draw a smiley face and it will instantly transition from the daily chart to the weekly chart. Keep in mind, this works across all time frames and you just have to select the time frame you want to see. It works across all of these layouts here, so select the layout that you want to see. In this example, we are using the exact same symbol in each layout. Of course, that should make perfect sense because the charts are going to sync to the symbol that you are analyzing because not every chart has the same exact price scale and it's just is an easier way to represent this type of synchronization of drawings across the same symbol, just different time frames. But there are so many other ways that you could do this. And of course, if you wanted to change this to a symbol like, how about we go to Netflix? So we can type in Netflix here. And for that matter, let's click this chart and why don't we type in Netflix? And this will do a uh, 30 minute chart or 
so all right, we'll click this one. We'll do 30 minutes here. Remember, as a reminder, always click the chart that you want to change. You can see it's highlighted here. So now we have a 30 minute chart of Netflix. Now let's click this chart on the right and let's go to four hours and let's ensure that our linking tool is on. New drawings will be replicated. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Same ticker selected. We quickly look at this chart. It looks a little noisy. There isn't really much here on this four hour chart or in this case, the 30 minute chart. But if we keep zooming out, we can potentially look for a moment that we might say to ourselves, this is the absolute low. If price breaks this low again, we are out of here. Or maybe this is the line that we're going to wait for. So we're just going to use our brush tool to draw it here. This is a reminder. This zone, we're going to be watching it either as a reminder that if it breaks this low, well, it's going to be making new lows and we'd rather not be a part of a symbol that's making new lows or potentially we're watching this because it was the previous low that held and just maybe there's some sort of double bottom that needs to play out and there could be an entry somewhere in here if price were to return and just as an example well on our four hour chart, this exact thinking, remember this is just an example, we never give buy or sell advice, we're just showing you how you can think through this process using the drawing sync capabilities. Well, it's perfectly synced to the four hour chart. So the 30 minute chart here and its drawings have now synced perfectly to the four hour chart. Remember, it works across all of these different layouts. It is key for keeping that perspective and seeing different time frames. And it will just always remind you that if you're analyzing something on, say, a 15 minute time frame uh, on one chart, so let's go to 15 minutes. Here's our 15 minute chart. And say we keep the other chart as a weekly. Well, it will always remind you just how important that long term view is. Because on this 15 minute chart, we know we have this great trade mapped out or these levels to watch. And yet, when we look at our drawings being perfectly synced, to a weekly chart so each candle represents one full week well it looks pretty insignificant doesn't it and it might just keep that type of perspective in mind for traders and investors who use this feature uh, maybe just to think a little more longer term or how it looks in the bigger picture remember these are just examples there are so many different ways for you for you to use this chart drawing syncing tool the best way to get started is just to open up a chart layout yourself. Make sure that this link is this linking tool is selected. Make sure you have the same symbol opened in each chart and start drawing. So thank you so much for watching. We look forward to hearing your feedback and commentary. Uh, please go have some fun and let us know what you think. Thank you for watching.